Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today has been a fairly nice day. The weather has been kind of um, chilly. I guess I do weather reports too, Bob. <laughs> I guess I do. I, I think about the weather a lot because it's getting closer to when the weather is going to get cold. Well, I wanted to talk about today um, uh, something that came to in my in my comments, and it kind of makes you be thankful for what you have. And I really, really, my heart aches for this little person, and his name is Jax. I don't know the people but they have felt that they could um, tell me a little bit of their story. And so, um, Ruby, this is for your grandson. I would like people to at least say a little prayer for Jax. He's seven days old, he's in the ICU, and he's struggling to breathe. He's right now on oxygen. He really needs prayers from people. And tomorrow is Grandparents' Day, and so I'm sure it's even harder for those of that have grandchildren and they're far away or children that are, are ill, it makes it difficult for them to uh, enjoy their day. Well, tomorrow, let's hope that um, those of you that can visit your grandparents, you visit your grandparents and give them a great big hug and a great big kiss and tell them that you love them. And it will, it will put a spark in their little, uh, a glitter in their eye, glimmer or whatever you want to say. It'll make them feel really good. I'm stumbling. I'm not good at this stuff. I'm really not. But I, I feel I would like prayers for little Jax. He's only, he's only seven days old and he needs our help. And so that's what I wanted to say. So, um, it always amazes me when people feel that they can talk to me about things that I would have never known. There are a lot of people out there struggling with their health even, which I am very, very surprised at how many. And I almost feel guilty when I say that I have a little, like if I have a tooth pulled or um, like I had the vertigo because I really, I'm, I'm good, I'm really good, I'm not, it's not um, anything that's lasting, it's not something that I have to stop doing my regular everyday things with because it's not going to stop me. And um, also, I wanted to tell you, Ruby um, has been a real fighter herself. She has fought cancer four times in her um, very young life. So um, her family really could use a lot of prayer. Oh, I'm repeating myself, but I'm just kind of hung up on that, I guess. It really hit me in my, in my comments. I um, love reading the comments. And also, I wanted to say, um, Karina, I'm, you're out there, you're every, all the time out there. And she tells me that I remind her of her grandma. I don't know how your grandma and I you know, when I think of a grandma, I think of these little old ladies, and I don't feel like I'm a little old lady, but I'm so glad that you're blessed that you got to be with your grandma. I was one of those that didn't have a grandma. My grandparents, I had one grandpa, and that was Nanu. We called him Nanu. And then when the TV show came out with, I don't know what it was, Mork and, Mindy. Mork and Mindy, and they'd go Nanu, Nanu, it made us laugh because Nanu is actually grandpa for me. Um, and my Nanu did not know my name. It was funny because I used to say, hi, Nanu. And then we'd say who we were. And he did. And when he died, they wanted, they had the oldest of each of the children were supposed to drive the car in the funeral procession. Well, I had just had a bad experience with a car. I had tried to start my brother's car, and it was an automatic, and for whatever reason, I couldn't start it. And so when they asked me if I would drive for the funeral, I said, is it automatic or standard? And the guy said it was automatic, and I said, I can't drive an automatic. And he said, that's a first, because I drove standard. And I was, what it was is I was afraid I'd get in that car, and it wouldn't start. 
I didn't know whether his car had to be in reverse or had to be in, I don't know what it had to be, or neutral maybe, I don't know, but I wasn't going to take that chance. So when my grandfather passed away, my, one of my other cousins, um, they had two of their kids instead drive in the funeral procession. I didn't have to drive, thank goodness, because I was afraid I was going to mess up and not be able to start the car and the funeral procession would never go anywhere. So I guess that's uh, the happy note of this is I didn't drive a car. I can't drive, I can't drive automatic. I drive standard. Well, I could drive automatic now. Oh my goodness. So that's it for today. And I hope that you're all having a great day. And remember, tomorrow is Grandparents Day. Jim is trying to kill a fly. <laughs> He's not going to get it, I don't think. Oh, maybe he will. It's on the stove. It's on the stove. Get it, get it, get it. Ah, he got it? Yay. He got the fly. One less fly that's going to bother his cheese that he's eating. <laughs> he's always eating cheese. <laughs> okay. Well, I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So remember, kids, tomorrow's Grandparents' Day. So give your grandma and grandpa a great big hug and kiss and tell them you love them. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, for, it may be today, today for you. I don't know. But it's, it's September 8th. Right? Yeah, September 8th. Is the is grandparents is grandparents day. day? So if you see this on September eighth, it's grandparents day. Alrighty, bye bye. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.